Good day everyone. It is currently 1.20 p.m. in the afternoon and I am pleased to state that the Baltimore Orioles have arrived. I just seen the glimpse of the first one and I am hoping that they will be visiting my hummingbird feeder. And that is also indications that the hummingbirds themselves should be showing up soon. So I just thought I'd share that. And I also have to come clean with a certain situation. And that being that I need to expose a little bit of truth about the reasoning behind me taking down the cat videos. You see, in the process of having a video uploaded, um, it came to my attention that both uh, Spirit and I were in violation of guidelines and policies. And it was uh, due to um, basically because of a recording over the gender of spirit. I finally got to a point where it's like, oh, okay, I'm getting tired of playing the, the gender guessing game with you. Are you a he, she, it, or what? So, while in the process of, of feeding spirit, I flat out ask spirit. Okay, so what are you? Are you a male cat or a female cat? At that point, Spirit looked up at me and firmly stated, I am neither a male cat nor a female cat as I identify as a dog and then proceeded to bark at me. <laughs> okay, so I will continue on <laughs> beyond that over what I really want to discuss today. And this has to do with comments. There are times to where I get a good giggle out of having a, notifi a notification of a reply that's been made to a comment that I made on a different channel oh three four five years ago well, I was given a notification of a reply made to a comment that I made on a different channel and it was in regards to the shape of the earth now I have to say that this argument has been going on for hundreds if not thousands of years in which it's very pathetic because the way I see it unless you have plans of actually going out there you don't need to know whether the earth is flat spherical a donut pear-shaped convex does it really matter because after all if you actually know the reality of it all, what do you get? Bragging rights, if you are correct. So people that are still continuing this argument, this debate, they're simpletons, they're daft, and it's, you know, an utterly redundant aspect of <laughs> dummyism <laughs> I'm sorry I just don't have the words to, to I just cannot believe that people are still arguing over the shape of the earth but anyways so my comment that I had made five years ago in reference to the shape of the earth was the factor that in the oldest stories written 
okay, the, in the first written language, which is known as cuneiform. Those, oh, can we even see it here? Oldest stories in the world through the Sumerian texts. And I had posted in this comment that these so called gods, which were nothing more than a group of renegade rebels from another planet that came to this one in order to colonize. And it describes within those ancient stories their travels here, in which from the opposite direction, instead of us looking out, if we were to look towards the earth, they described the planets that they passed within their crafts, okay? Their descriptions were completely on par. And at the time that these were written, these stories, they couldn't really see beyond the moon, if you will. But yet there were perfect descriptions. And the descriptions were basically that the planets were spherical in nature. All right? And of course, these gods that were actually renegades from a different planet, solar system, or what have you, they landed here. Stories are out there. Oh, but you know what? That story is also right here. And this book, to where the earliest writings came at least 2,000 years after those first written stories. Except in this book, they call them the fallen angels. They were people like you and I. Plain out. Go to the oldest stories in the world. You will see how they are connected. I mean, after all, if you believe in the flood, well, the flood account is in the Sumerian stories that predated the Bible. The Bible copied those stories and changed the characters' names and some of the other content. Please understand this. Do your research. Much, much older writings. And I go by that rather than oral stories. After all, I just told you an oral story at the beginning and even claimed that it was truth. But the reality, <laughs> well, the reality is a whole nother story. Think about it. Have a great one. Oh, my bad. As a little add-on, as far as the reply to the comment made, um, the reply was, no, nope, not a globe. Well, I had to reply back to that reply, stating, well, of course it's not a globe. By definition, a globe is a spherical model of the Earth that we see in libraries, classrooms, colleges, universities, and such. <laughs> no, it is not a globe. <laughs> All right.
Take care.